welcome to lesson two. In the previous lesson, we checked out tones and semitones. What are they? How do you identify them, either on a fretboard or on a guitar? Now, in lesson number two, we are going to check out the two most basic formulas. We're going to identify them, understand them, understand how they are constructed so that you yourself can construct a major or minor scale starting from any note on the keyboard or guitar if you prefer. So, first of all, we need to get some definitions clear. The root note, which is a very, very common term in scales and harmonies. The root note is the note the scale is named after. In terms of melody, it's the note a scale is named after. This is the note a scale starts on. So for all these examples, we will always start with C, for C major. And here's a reminder, when counting tones and semitones, as I said in the previous lesson, you do not count the note you start on, aka the root note. Following the formula gives you the notes for any major scale. Your root note can be any note. For this example, we have chosen C, as in all the examples, and it gives us these notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It doesn't give us any sharps or flats, sharps being the hashtag symbols and flats being the little Bs that you can see next to the notes on the black keys. And this is how we found it. We started with the root note, C. Then we jumped from C to D, a whole tone. You can see we're following the formula that's underneath the title major scale formula. We went up a tone first, a T. What's next? Another tone, the big T. Then that takes us from D to E, up two semitones. Then we've got a semitone. Jump from E to F. Then a tone from F to G. We're just following the formula at the top of this slide. Next, another T from G to A, up two semitones. Then from A to B, another T. Then the final step in the formula, B to C, another semitone. So as you can see, we went following this formula, T plus T, as in tones. Then up a semitone, then up a tone, up a tone, up a tone, then a semitone. That took us from C, the root note, to D, to E, to F, to G, to A, to B, to C. If you do not understand how we followed that formula, please re-watch this. And feel free to comment, feel free to ask questions in the question and answer section if you are not clear at all, because it's vitally important you understand this. Major scale. Now we're going to look at the minor scale formula. As you can see, we've got the formula directly underneath the title, and it goes tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. And that gives us the notes for the C minor scale. In this example, same as all the rest, we start with C, and we've got the notes already over to the right. Can you spot the difference between the major scale that we just did? And this minor scale that we are about to see how it was constructed now. Starting with a root note again. Jumping up a tone, then a semitone, D to E flat. And we're using flats for a reason. I'm going to tell you why on the next slide. E flat to F, F to G, which is another tone, G to A flat, semitone, A flat to B flat, tone. B flat to C, tone. So you can see each of these steps matches the formula. Tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, and finally tone over here. Minor scale. 
Now the C major scale and the C minor scale are both here so we can analyze them a little bit more closely. Have you spotted the difference? If not, here it is. The third, sixth and seventh notes of the scale are flattened in C minor compared to the C major scale. They're called the third, sixth and seventh degrees of the scale. One. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh degrees of the scale. The third, sixth, and seventh are flattened. So, first of all, before we go any further, fun fact. The reason the black notes on the keyboard have two different names, such as F sharp and G flat, is because every scale needs to have one of every letter, A through to G apart from the octave, obviously. If C minor used sharps instead of flats, it would go as follows. C, D, D sharp, so repeating the D, F, G, G sharp, repeating the G, then A sharp, and then C, missing up B entirely. Whereas if we use flats, as you can see, it's got one of every letter of the musical alphabet, which goes from A to G, then repeats. So. In this lesson, we have identified and understood the C major scale formula, the C minor scale formula, and you can apply that starting on any root note. Just follow the formula and it will give you the scale for that particular root note.